In this video, I'm going to show you how to compare two lists. And as we compare two lists, we are going to meet three objectives. Objective number one, we need to find ma matching values. What do I mean by that? Values that are in list one and also in list two. We're going to use Google Sheet formulas to extract those values and place them right here. Then our objective number two is to find not not matching values, values that are in list one, but they're not in list two. In other words, we want to find out what are the items that are in list one, but they're not in list two. That will be our objective number two for this tutorial. And objective number three will be finding the values that are in list two, but not in list one. That's what we are going to accomplish in this video. So we are going to start off with finding the matching values. And I'm going to use a number of Google Sheet functions. And the first function I'm going to use will be the match function. And what does the match function do? The match function finds out what are the matching values. You give it a search key what you're searching for in a given range and you give it a search type which in our case would be an exact match and then it will return for you the values you done for you the position of the values that match and when they don't match it returns na so let's see how this one works our search key so what we are going to do is our we're going to search for these ids each of these IDs against our second argument, which is the range, against this range in list two. IDs of list one searched against the range of IDs in list two. So what it does is to take 10, whether it's in this range, and if it finds it, it will give us the position of that 10 in this range. And the next argument is the type of match we in our case we want an exact match so when we close our brackets we get one now why do we get one it starts for 10 looks for 10 in this range and finds 10 at position one so the question is why is it not showing these other values because it is returning a multiple values and they are not fitting in one cell to ensure that they are all displayed in these are the cells we are going to use another Google Sheets function by so you highlight the formula and then control shift enter then it will be surrounded by an array formula which enables the displaying of all the results so when I do that you can see now we have the other results being displayed as well now what do these results mean for example five if I go to five here it is looking for 15 in this range and it is telling us it's find 15 at position 5. So let's see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It returns for 15, it returns 5. Then what do the NM means? When I highlight there, it tells me that did not find value 13 in March. What it means is it looked for 13 in this range and it did not find any value. And of course, there's also the 16 was not found. You can see it is telling us 16 not found. And lastly, 19 was not found. And it also tells us 19 is not found. Now, having done this, remember our objective is to use the filter function. And what the filter function does it, we are going to filter this list one for values that are matching. So our condition will be this matching values. And for the filter function to work, it needs to return a true or false. 
So I, I need to change this into a true or false. So I'm going to use another Google Sheet function, which is called is number. What is number does is it checks whether any of these returned values is number. And if it is a number, it returns true. And if it is not a number, it will return false. So you see that the NS go away and return true and false. So use, this will be our condition. This will be our condition in the filter function. So the filter function will filter out all the truths based on this function that I'll put in the filter function. So to do that, I'm going to copy this formula. I cut it, then write filter function, open my brackets. I want to filter this list here, comma, based on a condition. And my condition was that function, the earlier function, which was doing a match. That one there. Then I close my brackets. And there you go. So you'll find that these are the matching values. What does matching value mean? It means that the values are in list one and also in list two. You'll observe that these two last two values are not in list one and therefore they have been left out and the rest of them are in both lists and therefore displayed right here. That is our objective one that we have now, the next thing we're going to do is find values in list one, not in list two. What do I mean? I have values that are in list one, but they are not in list two. For example, 13, ID 13 is here, but it is not in list two. Another one is ID 19. It is in list one, but not in list two. That is the first thing we're going to do. After that, we're also going to find out in our last test items that are in list two, items that are in list two, but not in list one. And these items are 21 and 22. See, the ID in list one ends at 20, but we want also to bring this out. So let's see how we go about. Our objective is to find values that are in the first objective is to find values in list one. They are here but not here. For example, 13 is here, but not here. So we shall be searching each of these values against this list. Then the second search will be searching values in list two, searching values in list two, that are not in list one. For example, 20 and 21 are in list two, but they are not in list one. Let's start with the first one, where we are finding values in list one that are not in list two. So it means we are going to use the search, and our search key would be, because we are searching one against two, our search key will be one items IDs in one comma against list two. So what it does looks for 10 in this list, 11 in this list, and so on. So, and we are looking for exact match, put zero, press enter. Now, when I do that and I use the control shift enter, it plays this. So where there is NA means that 
the value in list one here, which is 13, is not in this. And these are the ones that we're interested in. So because we are going to use this in our filter function, our function should return true for these NA. And to return true so that they can be filtered out, we can use the is NA function. So it, what this one does, it checks whether the return value is NA, and if it is NA, it will return true. For example, again, this 13 is not here. So this corresponding 13 returns true. Now this is what we are going to use in our filter function. And I'm going to cut this type filter function, the range that we want to be returned, we want to return values in list one. So we have to use our list one values. Fil use filter this comma against the condition is an A which I copied, then close the brackets. When you do that, you'll find that 13, 16, and 19 are in list one, but not in list two. So you can confirm that we have 13 here, but it is not here. We have 16 here, but it is not in here, and then we have 19 here, which is not here. So this, these are the values in list one, but not in list two. In our next example, we are going to search for values that are in list two. In other words, we shall be using list two to filter out what is not in list one. So to do that, I'm going to do it here. And what I'm gonna do is again, use the match function. Now I'm searching list two against list one. So my search key will be list two right here, IDs in list two against the range in list one. In other words, to check 10 against this list, check 12 against that list. Also come here and check 21 against this list. They expect it to return NA for 21 and 22. We are looking for an exact match. Press enter, it returns a one here. Again, use Control shift enter to highlight all the values. Now, the ones that they have not been found, did not find 22 in the match, did not find 21 in the match. We need to return true for these values. So that when we use our filter function, it will return these two values. So to do that, since this is NA, we need to check whether it is, is NA. There's a function called is NA. So what this one does, it checks whether the result is NA. And if the result is NA to return true, and other result, others it return false. So you see for 20, 20 and 21, it has returned true. So this is the condition we are going to use in our filter function. So I'm going to cut it and I'm going to say filter. So in this second scenario, we are filtering the second list. Second list, which is this one here. 
comma, and we are filtering it based on the condition I got in my previous formula. And I press close my filter function, press enter. So as you see here, 20 and 21 are in list two, but not in list one. And then these ones are in list one, but not in list two. And then right here, we have the ones that are in both. So we have been able to extract these three using Google sheet formulas. I hope this has been helpful. And if so, please subscribe, hit the notification button to see more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you.